Coming up today on News 6, a new state law for abortion. There is a measles outbreak. The Magna Carta has been completed. The Affordable Care Act is coming to Conway. All of these stories and more stay with us. News 6 starts right now. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Candace Miller. And I'm Flora Violo. UCA is taking one step further to ensure that students get into their career after they graduate. The College of Business is partnering with local businesses like Newcomers, Matova, Big Cloud Analytics, and Analyze to ensure their students learn in their classes. What they need to know for their jobs, this could include changes in the classroom, more internships, and post-college job opportunities. The high-tech courses could start next fall. Potentially major changes coming to Arkansas abortion laws at the head to the state senate for consideration. Yesterday, House Bill 1076 passed in the Arkansas House of Representatives with the final vote of 83 to 4. House Bill 1076 has 60 co-sponsor in the House and Senate, which gives the bill a positive outlook before it adds to the Senate floor. If passed, the bill will require doctor be present while a patient is administered the drug Mifepristin, also known as ORU486. The bill also requires doctors to attend a follow-up visit 12 to 18 days afterward. Tune in tomorrow for follow-up on how this bill could affect physicians in the state. A Faulkner County Sheriff's deputy was shot in a drug bust has returned home. Faulkner County Chief Deputy Matt Rice said they will not release the deputy's name. The deputy was treated at Conway Regional Hospital. The Sheriff's Department took Cody Booth and Stephanie Fawson into custody. Rice said the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office and the 20th Judicial Prosecutor hope to finish their investigation today and officially press charges tomorrow. So far this year, there have been more than 100 reported cases of measles in the United States, triggering a new public debate over whether or not all children should be vaccinated. That debate reached Capitol Hill today, where lawmakers grilled a panel of health experts about the contagious disease and the safety of the current vaccine. Sandin Sirfati has the latest from Washington. Medical experts on Capitol Hill today didn't mince words. Vaccines save lives, echoing the scientific and medical consensus that vaccinations are safe and there's no known link to autism. To me, it's really a slam dunk what the decision should be. The pace of measles cases this year oh, has been striking. Yeah. Just That's one fine. month into the new year and the number of cases is nearly one-sixth of last year's total. Shining a spotlight on a controversial divide between parents who vaccinate their children and those who don't. My older son um, had some difficulties with some of the vaccines. We'd had one shot that he'd had where he hadn't um, been able to walk for two days. And I was concerned that there he could possibly develop autism. Recently, comments by two top potential Republican candidates for president poured some fuel on the fire. While in support of vaccinations, both argue it's a decision for parents to make. I've heard of many tragic cases of walking, talking, normal children who wound up with profound mental disorders after vaccines. And the parents need to have some measure of choice in things as well. So that's the balance that the government has to decide. A spike in measles cases is troubling. As medical experts say, there is a risk measles could reestablish itself in the United States. In Washington, I'm Sunlin Serfati. Okay, guys, so I was up in northwest Arkansas this weekend, and it was, it was fairly cold, and then today it just warmed up. Yes, this morning was kind of chilly, really but cold. today <laughs> was really better and warmer, so how it will stay like this. Well, I actually don't think it's going to stay like this, guys. We're going to have a little bit of rain, not a high chance, so let's keep our fingers crossed. But we'll see that more when we come up back after the break. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. 
Adopt. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace glue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. For those dealing with the struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for advice and support. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. At the University of Central Arkansas, I've encountered world-changing academics and game-changing athletics, helping me become a regular on the Southland Conference Honor Roll. I was able to graduate early with a business degree, and now I'm seeking a second degree in physical education, all while playing Division I volleyball, softball, and soccer. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Aww. You should pick that up. Every day, kids <laughs> witness bullying. Poor you. They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. Welcome back, I'm Erin Adams. Let's take a look at our weather. We'll start with the national map. As you guys can see over here, we've got a high pressure system over in the ocean area. It's gonna put some nice weather in California, but then we've got some low pressure systems up against the Northern Rockies, causing some snow up there. And that's actually gonna affect us later this, later this week with this low pressure system. We'll look at that later. Let's look at our state map. And as you can see, it's been pretty sunny all over Arkansas and pretty much the same temperature. We had a high in Fort Smith of 56 and our lowest low was 49 in Pine Bluff. And then it's been pretty, pretty similar temperatures everywhere else in the lower 50s. Let's look at our 36 hour. All right, tonight it's going to be 32 and mostly clear. So make sure if you're going out, wear a jacket. It's going to be pretty cold. And then tomorrow it's going to be 55 with a chance of rain. And then tomorrow night, it's going to drop really low to 26 and possible freezing rain and chance of snow. So everyone be careful because it's going to be very cold. Now let's look at our extended forecast. All right, Wednesday, like I said, it's going to be a 40% chance of rain, a high of 55, a low of 26. And then Thursday, it's going to drop to 39 as a high and low of 24. But then Friday and the rest of the week, we're going to have mostly sunny skies in like the 50s and 60 area. So don't worry, it's going to be pretty warm and sunny the rest of that week. But that's all I have for weather. I'm Erin Adams. Thank you so much, Erin. Our nation is in the middle of, a, of the second open enrollment period for the Historical Affordable Care Act. Licensed in-person assister Tanya Estelle of the Living Affected Corporation will be available on Thursdays from 10 in the morning until 1.30 in the afternoon in room 128 of the UCA Library to assist anyone interested in getting information or signing up for health care through this initiative. Please remember that open enrollment for the marketplace ends on Fri February 15th. Many college students are eligible for our state's private option. Medicaid expansion, health care independence. This allows consumers to enroll in free health care through a recognized health insurance provider. Though there is no deadline for this option, it is highly recommended that you complete your application as soon as possible. For more information, as well as the necessary documentation needed when visiting with the assister, please contact the Office of Diversity and Community. 
Martin Luther King Jr. and Confederate General Robert E. Lee both share the same birthday of January 19th. But a new Arkansas House bill could lead to this birthday to be celebrated separately. Currently, the national holiday of Martin Luther King Jr. is celebrated on the third Monday in January. On Friday, the Arkansas Legislative Black Caucus voted to support Representative Nathan Bell's House bill to move the observance of General Lee's birthday to a different day. If passed, the bill would create a Southern Heritage Day on November 30th and eliminate the state observation of Jefferson Davis on June 3rd. So I know that there's a basketball game tonight. Yes. And that also that there's a signing coming up, correct? Yes, for there football? is. There's a lot of sports events going on at UCA this week. Um, a lot of different sports uh, getting ready for next season and uh, looking toward the future uh, coming up tomorrow for football. Uh, we'll talk more about that after the break. It's never too late to follow your dreams. So after 20 years in the business world, I decided to become a teacher. That's when I discovered the University of Central Arkansas offers a Master of Arts in Teaching, which helped me make the transition from the office to my classroom. Plus, the convenience of a flexible format allows me to attend classes while teaching my own. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu slash online. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. At the University of Central Arkansas, I've encountered world-changing academics and game-changing athletics, helping me become a regular on the Southland Conference Honor Roll. I was able to graduate early with a business degree, and now I'm seeking a second degree in physical education, all while playing Division I volleyball, softball, and soccer. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making home affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? We're just playing. We're just praying I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back to News 6. I'm Devin Dishner, and here's what's going on in sports. The UCA men's basketball team will host the Northwestern State Demons tonight in the Ferris Center at 7 in the evening. <laughs> Currently, the Bears are 0-18 and, and are last in the Southland Conference, with Northwestern State sitting at 11-9, fourth in the conference. The Bears have been off since Monday, January 26th, when they lost to the New Orleans Privateers, 87-67. Tonight's game is also the All-Greek game, which should add a large crowd to the Ferris Center. Tomorrow is a day that all college football coaches look forward to in the offseason. It's National Signing Day. Steve Campbell will host his second signing day news conference at 3 p.m. in Wingo Hall. 
Central Arkansas lost 17 seniors from a team that went 6-6, six 5-3 and six, five and three in the Southland Conference just a season ago. Of those 17 seniors, 6 were on defense, 10 were on offense, and place kicker Eddie Kamara. The biggest hit the Bears took was in the offensive line and wide receiver positions, so expect the Bears coaching staff to bring quite a few athletes at those positions. On Wednesday and Thursday, Channel 6 sports reporter Michael Deere will have a complete recap of signing day, as well as a reaction from the Central Arkansas coaching staff. And finally, in women's basketball, the Sugar Bears left Conway this morning in preparation to face the Southeastern Louisiana Lady Lions tomorrow evening in Hammond, Louisiana. Central Arkansas shocked Northwestern State last Wednesday with a 63-46 victory over the league-leading Lady Demons. Central Arkansas is now 4-4 four four in conference and sits 8th in the Southland Conference. Southeastern Louisiana is currently 9th and is 3-5, and five, so this matchup has a lot of impact on who can play in the Southland Conference Tournament. This past Sunday, the Super Bowl drew in its largest viewership on record. According to the reports, 114.5 million people tuned into the game, making it now the most watched television event in history. That is really impressive. I'm probably the only person who didn't watch a game, actually. What about you, Candace? Um, I didn't watch the Super Bowl either. I was out of town, and I just it completely slipped my mind. And I know that Katy Perry will not be singing at the basketball <laughs> game tonight. She won't. She won't but, indeed. But we do have a lot of Greeks on campus. So yes, absolutely. And tonight, uh, the all-Greek game, every fraternity and sorority should be uh, represented tonight. So. Fair Center is going to be packed with people. Hopefully that will motivate the guys, get a swing, so we can get one W in that win I, column. I know. I hope we, I hope we definitely sure. do get one win. Yeah. <laughs> well, coming up after the break, President Cartway has a school-wide talk. Stay with us. News 6 will be right back. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace glue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. For those dealing with the struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for advice and support. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. At the University of Central Arkansas, I've encountered world-changing academics and game-changing athletics. Helping me become a regular on the Southland Conference Honor Roll, I was able to graduate early with a business degree, and now I'm seeking a second degree in physical education, all while playing Division I volleyball, softball, and soccer. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. 
today. Aww. You should pick that up. Every day, kids witness bullying. For you. They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. Welcome back on News 6. If you have any questions or concern about UCA, you can get answer to this question this Thursday. Campus Talk is a frequently held meeting that is held to provide faculty, staff and students with information and give them a time to ask questions and receive answers. President Tom Cartway will hold this Campus Talk along with other executive staff members. SGA President Ashley Rouse said Campus Talk is beneficial to our students because we get the chance to ask questions and receive feedback from all of the campus officials. If you have questions you would like to see discussed at the campus talk, you can email them to the University Relations and Creative Services Office at urcs at uca.edu. Campus talk will be held Thursday during X period in the Board of Trustees Conference Room in Wingo Hall. Coming up after the break, we'll have a last look at the weather. Stay with us. New 6 will be right back. It's never too late to follow your dreams. So after 20 years in the business world, I decided to become a teacher. That's when I discovered the University of Central Arkansas offers a Master of Arts in Teaching, which helped me make the transition from the office to my classroom. Plus, the convenience of a flexible format allows me to attend classes while teaching my own. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu slash online. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. At the University of Central Arkansas, I've encountered world-changing academics and game-changing athletics, helping me become a regular on the Southland Conference Honor Roll. I was able to graduate early with a business degree, and now I'm seeking a second degree in physical education, all while playing Division I volleyball, softball, and soccer. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified. Not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. It's one of the most important documents in Western history. Magna Carta laid the foundation for modern democracies and inspired the United States Constitution. Now, eight centuries after its creation, the last surviving original copies are going on display. Isla Soares has the story. Eight-hundred-year-old treasures oh, united for the first time. Oh. These are the only four Magna Cartas, sealed by King John Runmead in 1215, that have survived the ages. 
They all look different, but the clauses within are all the same and spell out principles of law and liberty that resonate still right across the world. You only need to start with India to see we have a billion people whose lives are being influenced by the concept of the rule of law laid down 800 years ago in a meadow outside London. That is truly remarkable. That these four manuscripts survive at all is also remarkable. The two held by the British Library were almost lost. This manuscript here was damaged in a fire in the 18th century, um, almost completely destroyed, but the wax seal was melted, but it was restored and the other Magna Carta manuscript was reputedly found, according to legend, in a London tailor shop in the 17th century. Presumably it's going to be cut up, maybe used to make a, a gentleman's collar, for example. The manuscript normally housed at Lincoln Cathedral was also considered vulnerable when the Second World War broke out. It was on tour in America and was literally treated like gold. They looked after it in the Library of Congress for a number of years until America entered the war and then of course it went into Fort Knox and there it was held along with all the other great treasures of uh, America and their gold bullion obviously. The librarian who took care of this Magna Carta held by Salisbury Cathedral apparently had slightly different ideas about preservation. The story goes that she occasionally put it under her bed at home and in order to get it under her bed she put it on the back of her bicycle. But you know these are times past and people had very different sensibilities about archival documents didn't they? Indeed this exhibition was put together amid top security and secrecy. I can tell you that as Dean I did not know when it moved. I told those who uh, needed to know the arrangements that they weren't to tell anybody other than those who absolutely had to know. More than 47,000 people from 20 different countries applied to see the three-day exhibition. Just 1,215 have won the privilege of witnessing all four medieval manuscripts together. Another historic moment in the story of Magna Carta. Thank you so much, Isa. So, I was kind of thinking about going out this weekend, maybe go on a bike ride, maybe a hike on Pinnacle Mountain. Yes, I, I think it's perfect weather because it's sunny and not too warm, so it's really good for hiking or outdoors activities. Yeah, definitely, I think that'd be a good idea to go out. And it's like kind of in the summer, you can't really hike Pinnacle because it's like you get halfway up and you die and it's like too hot. But the 50, 60 area, I think it's really, I've seen a lot of people putting pictures on Instagram and hiking and stuff. And I think I might join you, Candace. Let's go hike at Pinnacle this weekend. Yeah, let, let's go. We should. All right, Good well, let's, let's take a look at our 36-hour forecast. All right, tonight's going to be 32 and mostly clear. And tomorrow night's going to be 50, or tomorrow during the day, excuse me, it's going to be 55 with a chance of rain. So make sure you've got your umbrellas. And then tomorrow night, it's going to drop and be 26. And then let's, our Wednesday, it's going to rain with a 40% chance of rain. High of 55, low of 26. Thursday, the sun will come back out and be a high of 39 and a low of 24. That'll be the coldest day this week. And then Friday, once again, the sun, high of 50, low of 36. And Saturday, we're going to see a little bit of clouds. The sun's still going to poke out. It'll be a high of 61, low of 48. And then Sunday, a little more clouds, high of 66, low of 39. And then Monday, high of 55 and low of 32. All right, that's all I have for the weather. Thank you, Erin. That's a look at the news for this Tuesday, February 3rd. If you have any questions, comments, or story ideas, email us at ucanews6 at gmail.com. And be sure to keep up with us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Flo Raviolo. And I'm Candace Miller. For De Devin Dishner, Aaron Adams, and all of us here at News 6, thank you for joining us, and good night. It's never too late to follow your dreams. So after 20 years in the business world, I decided to become a teacher. That's when I discovered the University of Central Arkansas offers a Master of Arts in Teaching, which helped me make the transition from the office to my classroom. Plus, the convenience of a flexible format allows me to attend classes while teaching my own. 
UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu slash online.